Hey guys, I am putting together this tutorial really fast because um, I've had several people ask me how I edit. And the way I do it is really simple. Um, I'm sure there's probably a lot about it that I don't know, but I use an app called Femora Go. And you just download it onto your phone or your tablet. And for this, I don't want to show my projects yet so I'm gonna create new now everything that has been sent to me or that I've recorded from the internet or whatever is all under your selected files tab uh, so I'm gonna pick uh, let's see what do I want to pick let's, let's look in here and see just to show how how I do it. Um, let's see. Okay, we'll use Trisha Dancing. That'll be a good one. Okay, next. Okay, so now from here, if I click the plus button over there on the right, I can go and I can add uh, presets which you can add your blanks which is where I, I put my my black ones in there to put my subtitles on I can add a photo um, let's see let's see what we got uh, we'll do a kitty cat sticking out her tongue okay now from here that's my first clip showing there so I'm gonna go to edit tools now from here I can trim the clip and you see this down here at the bottom you just move these little thingies right here so that you can trim it on e either side you want um, so we'll trim it to there so okay now say I want to speed her up I'm gonna click the speed I can do fast slow whatever depends on what kind of music that I'm using we'll do fast just for shits and giggles why not okay now I can rotate her if I want flip her up on her head let's see what she's doing now oh okay well whatever uh, let's flip her back all right lady get down <laughs> okay and from there uh, say I want to put a picture in the frame with her I'm going to PIP picture in picture and I'll pick a picture we'll do this one okay now from here right here this little blue part at the very beginning of your timeline down here shows how long your little face is going to stay on the screen uh, you can position it however you want you can have it appear mid-frame if that's what you want just however you want to do it so and then it'll go away after the time that I see because I had it limited to a certain amount of time okay so now I'm gonna change my little line around here and put my cat there well I want to put the cat in but say I want to put the cat in between dance clips so I'm gonna add I'm gonna go back to her dance clip uh, there it is and I'm gonna add oops wrong Tammy that was the wrong uh, yeah back to her dance clip add right there okay so now I'm going to move this up in my timeline okay I'm gonna go into that one and since I have her dancing from a certain point back there I'm only gonna put this because here when you cut your videos uh, you can what I do because I don't know a shortcut to it I don't know how to just insert in the middle of the uh, 
film on this app. I'm sure it can be done, but I haven't learned how to do that yet. So I add two different clips of it, and then I go by my number line, where down here on the bottom right of the screen, and I just try to match that up as best as I can. So we're going to do that there. Now, wait a minute, because I want her to move slow, just, you know, to show you. Okay. Now, on the crop feature, you can make her bigger. Holy shit. Uh, or smaller to a certain degree. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, so now let's see what we've got. Oh, that's boring as shit. All right, hang on. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's start at the beginning. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, hurry up, lady shit. Okay, now on this clip, say I only want him on there for just a second. Duration. And I'll just have him just pop his head in there just for a minute. Just that long. Now, if you look over here on the screen at the bottom right where it says 1429, that's how long this is at this point. I do not want that. I do not want to stare at her for that damn long. So, let's go into this clip. We're going to trim this fucker, too. We're going to trim it. This way. Okay? Alright, now. Let's get past that, because that's aggravating. Alright. You know, I seriously don't think the music would make a damn bit of difference. Y M C A. Woo woo. <laughs> okay. E anyway, fuck that. That is what I know a little bit of. Okay, let's go back into our editing tools so that I can show you what each thing does. Okay, subtitle, right here. Tap to add title. Uh, let's say we want it to say dancing. Font, whatever font I want. Color, any color I want. We're going to do, okay, that's pretty. Now, same thing as before. Down here at the bottom, you have a timeline. You can make that subtitle stay as long as you want you can have it appear mid frame whatever you want to do on that that's how that button works voiceover now voiceover for film more ago is really aggravating oh it's recording me right now okay let's go ahead and save it and see uh, You and don't worry, lady, we won't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's actually dancing, but I think that's what she calls it. So, <laughs> whatever, anyway. All right, okay, so now, now my um film has been cut to 50 six seconds so it's less than a minute i have voice on there so let's see what it does
Okay, I'm not hearing my voice for some reason, so we're going to go in here. We're going to look in the audio mixer. We're going to increase uh, camera. Let's see if that makes a difference. Let's go ahead and add some music to it. Why not? So I click over there in music. Now it's going to take me to my music library. I don't have a lot in it, but uh, my library. Now keep in mind, if you're making a movie for YouTube, you can use the music, but you cannot monetize it and use the music. I like to put what music I want with my stuff, so, you know, that's what I do. But there are free songs out there that you can use uh, and still monetize. So I'm going to use Ring My Bell. Okay. No. Not a very good recording. Okay, now let's, let's change it. Let's get that out of there. Let's try something better. Let's put, oh, let's do some Snoop Dogg. Yeah, can't go wrong with Snoop. All right, okay. And Actually, that kind of fits the music good right there, so. Okay. Now, um, if I want to go into the transitions. Now, what that means is transition from clip to clip. So, let's have fun with that. We're going to go in. We're going to. And this one, we'll use that one. And this one, we'll use that one. Alright, now, let's see what we got. Alright, that's enough of that shit. Anyway, that's how you do the transitions. Uh, now, Filmora does have some themes that you can use, like uh, 80s theme. Okay, now say that I don't want any of that. Okay, say that, um, wait, let's go back into, let's go back into themes and do none because I don't want that. Okay, so edit tools, overlay. I want to give it a mm, purplish aura. Okay. And there's that. Filters. Uh, let's do... We'll do the purplish green. There we go. And there's that. Elements. 
Uh, we'll give her a beach badge. It ought to be a bitch badge, but we'll go with beach badge, whatever. Okay, now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let me go back to element. Of course, you can move the beach element wherever you want it. Um, voiceovers. You can do a voiceover anywhere you want. Well, it's not going to let me do that while I'm recording, but anyway. Okay. Uh, your titles are over here. Your audio mixer, which I need to learn a lot about, but... If basically, if you have a clip and you want to be able to hear the audio from that clip and to have your music in the background, you have to, I'll show you. Uh, okay. Music. Whenever I put that theme on there, it took the music out, so we'll put some more. Uh... Let's try that one. I don't even remember what that is. Oh, yeah. Okay. That'll work. Okay. Okay. Edit tools. Audio mixer. Okay. I want my music to be loud and since no one's talking in this uh, or she had some shitty music going we don't really want to hear that and we can do a voiceover but I can't while I'm recording or I would so okay and that's how you do the audio mixer of course now like I said I have a lot to learn on that uh, your speed your rotate adjust this is just basically for the picture you have. If you need it to be sharper or brighter or just like doing a, a TV screen. Uh, set it up the way that you like it. The duplicate is just if you want to make, like say if you put together a certain, like with internet throws up. There are certain things that I'm going to use in every single installment. So I put those together in a template for it. And when I get ready to make the the version that I'm doing, I just duplicate it and go from there. And delete. We can delete this entire scene. Um, and everything else will stay the same if we want. But yeah, so that's, that's how I do that. Um, anyway, I hope it helps y'all out. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning too, so there's still a good bit to do to it. But if you know, uh, Filmora Go is extremely simple. You just have to get on there and play with it and see. But anyway, yeah, guys. All right. So thanks for watching, and I'm gonna leave you with this.